in steady, gradually varied open channel flow, the longitudinal phase surpass profile is called the backwater profile. It may be predicted using the differential form of the energy equation called the backwater equation, which may be expressed in terms of the total head, H, the specific energy, E, or the water depth, D. In this equation, SF is the friction slope, or the slope of the total head line, in which F is the Darcy friction factor. One may look at the YouTube video movie Backwater and Open Channels. With this sketch, we see the definition of the cross-section area, A, free surface width B, on weighted perimeter PW, all of which being measured perpendicular to the streamlines. In gradually varied open channel flow, the longitudinal variation in water depth is related to the relative magnitude of the flow depth in relation to the critical depth DC on uniform equilibrium depth D0, also called normal depth. Altogether, there are 12 different types of free surface profile for steady, non-uniform, gradually varied flow, excluding uniform equilibrium flow. The typology of backwater profile may be summarized in the following figures. In this figure, the backwater profile name is written in bold blue letters, for example M1, and the first character, the first letter, describes the longitudinal bed slope, H for horizontal, M for mild, L for steep, S for steep, sorry, A for adverse. One may look at the YouTube video movie on mild on steep slope. So, with so many profiles, how can one predict the correct longitudinal free surface profiles? First, let us remember that the momentum principle at uniform equilibrium flow state that S0 equal SF on the uniform equilibrium velocity V0 is shown as here based upon momentum consideration. When the friction slope is greater than the bed slope, the velocity must be greater than the uniform equilibrium velocity V0. In turn, by continuity, the water depth D must be less than the normal depth D0. Conversely, when the friction slope is less than the bed slope, the water depth is greater than the normal depth. Second, let us consider the basic definition of subcritical and supercritical flow. For a subcritical flow, D is less than the critical depth, and in terms of fraud number is less than unity. For supercritical flow, the fraud number is greater than 1. Look at the video movie, the fraud number. Coming back to the backwater equation expressed in terms of the water depth, one can easily predict the sign of the variation of depth with respect to distance, as a function of the sign of 1 minus fraud number squared on the sign of S0 minus SF. Let us take a simple example where D0 is less than D and less than DC. Sign the normal depth is less than the critical depth, the slope is steep, with the depth being less than the critical depth, the flow is supercritical. On signs, the water depth is greater than the normal depth. The friction slope is less than the bed slope. As a result, 1 minus the fraud number squared is negative, S0 minus SF is positive, and in turn the variation with distance of the water depth is negative. That is, we have a backwater profile S2. This photograph illustrates a profile S2 down the Hinsdam spillway on the 3rd of March 2022. Let us consider another example of a supercritical flow on an adverse slope. For an adverse slope, the bed slope is negative and hence the term S0 minus SF is always negative. The flow is supercritical, D is less than DC, and in turn the fraud number is greater than 1. So the term 1 minus the fraud number squared is negative. As a result, the variation with distance of the water depth is positive, as shown on this sketch. On this two photographs, Illustrate the backwater profile A3 at the toe of the Wavano Dam spillway as the flow is going upward up to the ski jump. Finally, and importantly, the, the typology of free surface profile is valid for prismatic channel, any change in flow rate, invert slope, boundary roughness, or cross sectional shape may induce a change in critical or normal depth, and hence in backwater profile type. The concepts 
of backwater profile and backwater calculation are essential to the hydraulic engineering of operational flow and its practical applications, including flood modeling. They are discussed in the relevant YouTube video movie in the same playlist.